Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is one I've been planning on redoing for a while. Um, I did this about two months ago, I reckon, and I uploaded it and I put some bat music in the background and I got told to pull it, basically. Um, yeah, so I did. And I haven't got around to recording it and I've picked up a couple more, so I decided to add to it. Anyway, this video is basically going to be my collection of Marvel's um, comics since they, re since they uh, regained the license back in January 2015. Um, which was, which was really cool actually, because it gave me a chance to, you know, start fresh and actually try and, try and keep up, um, with everything they were putting out. There was a lot of awesome, amazing stories that Dark Horse put out. Um, some of it, some of it good, some of it not so good. Um, I read a lot of good stories though. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely keep my eyes open for more as they, as they, um, as I, as I find older older volumes and stuff, I'll, I'll try and pick up some of the some of the cooler stories that there were. But for now, but for today, I just want to show you some of the Marvel stuff. Um, basically, I started off collecting the single issues um, when they did start up. They started off with Star Star Wars and Darth Vader um, storylines, and it was just getting far too expensive to pick up single issues. Um, I'm about a 35 minute drive away from the city, um, which is where the comic book stores are. Um, and then we pr we pay almost double cover price here in Australia because they're basically all imported. Um, none of them are printed here. So, you know, $7 an issue, it gets pretty expensive. So I decided I'd stick to trade paperback so I can order them online. Um, we can take less regular visits to the city so I can pick them up then. And yeah, so I'll sort of go through them. Um, I'll go flick through my single issues that I picked up when I started, and then we'll have a look at the trade paperbacks on the back there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Start off with a Star Wars Volume One. This is the first printing, so I was pretty excited to get this one and and keep it. I'm going to try and keep this one in reasonably nice condition. Um, it was just amazing. This one got a massive. Um, this one sold millions of copies. I can't remember the exact number. It may not have been millions, but. They reprinted this one three, four, five times, I think. Um, so I was pretty, pretty happy to get this one. And that was a cool way to start off the start off the series. And Star Wars number two. I really like that. Uh, I really like the cover out there, Darth Vader and Han and Chewie. So this sort of story picks up. Here's number three. This picks up just just after a new hope, so it's pr pretty pretty cool. And we've got a dog pouring at the window, so that's that's annoying. Star Wars number four, another cool cover. And then we got Darth Vader number one. It's probably one of my favourite stories. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a cool cover. Darth Vader number two. I like that cover too. Princess Leia number one. Kanan number one. This is pretty much... Excuse me. Um, when, once I bought this one, I kind of decided it was getting a little bit too expensive to try and keep up, so... Um, I decided I'd just stick with getting trade paperbacks, and um, I'd let the single issues slide and just wait until they wait until the trades come out. So um, at the moment, I'm just sort of hanging out for you know the Obi Wan and Anakin series, which is probably coming, getting close to maybe releasing a trade paperback. I'm not sure. I feel like there may be an issue five or six now. So. Um, but I did make an exception last night in the city. I did pick up C-3PO. This is a one-shot. I haven't read it yet. Um, I'm sure it'll come out in the back of a trade paperback at some stage. Um, just, you know, they, they run through like five issues of a series and then they put an extra bonus story in the back. So I imagine that that'll probably a, a end up in one of those at some stage. But it was a cool-looking cover. Um, and, yeah, I decided to grab this one too. So it was a single issues. Now onto the trade paperbacks. <clears throat> now this is this is I like I like consuming my stories this way. It means I don't have to wait a month for the next issue. I can I can sit in a couple of nights and you know 
over a week and read one of these and just read an issue a night or something. It's it's quite quite good. You don't forget forget anything as you go through the story. So this is Star Wars Volume One, Skywalker Strikes. Pretty good story so far. Um, we got Star Wars Volume Two, Showdown on the Smuggler's Moon. So the first one collected issues one to six. This one collects issues seven to twelve. Each one of them pretty much collects six issues, so which is pretty good. That gives you sort of one one book every six months or so. Darth Vader Volume One, just called Vader. And they sort of just use the um, the cover is basically the first issue with the run. Oh, excuse me, I need another coffee, guys. I, I apologise for that. I hope I didn't make you all yawn. I know yawns are contagious. <laughs> I need another coffee. Here we got Darth Vader number two, Shadows and Secrets. Um, enjoying this story a lot. Um, Darth Vader's really cool story. It's sort of they sort of cross over without crossing over. They're sort of from the same timeline. So you sort of Darth Vader showing his point of view, trying to find out who this kid was that destroyed the Death Star and. Um, the Star Wars story is sort of following Luke and the Rebels. And those two droids are hilarious. Well, just bloodthirsty killer droids. The like, complete opposite to R2 and 3PO. So that's quite cool. Now Vader down. This collects... Um, this was sort of a crossover event, I guess, for those two, those two runs there. Um, so Vader... Vader down sort of crosses over and then there's a couple of each issue of Vader and Star Wars in this. Just the way they cross over is pretty cool. So I bought, I got that one about a month or two ago, a month and a half ago. And that cover's pretty cool too. It's good seeing Luke run around a bit more in the yellow jacket. I really like that yellow, yellow outfit. Now, this is probably one of my favourite stories, is the Kane and the Last Padawan. Obviously telling the story of Kane and Jarrus from Rebels. Um, going back to when he escaped Order 66. Um, yeah, it sort of starts off with him in present time, and then he sort of flashes back to the story. Um, but that's pretty good, and how he sort of gets wrapped up with bounty hunters and... Smugglers and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Enjoying that a lot. Um, I picked up volume two last night. It's First Blood, which is which pretty much which finishes Kanan's run um, at this stage. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, he had a 12 issue run, so this this one finishes that off. So hopefully we get back and see how this story wraps up, and hopefully they go visit revisit Kanan again in the future. So looking forward to sitting down this weekend and reading that one. Now, Shattered Empire. This was this is cool. This is part of the journey to the to the Force Awakens um, sort of media media campaign run, I guess. Um, this tells a bit of a story of Poe Dameron's parents and their tie in with these with the main characters um, after the just after the Battle of Endor. So that's a, that's a cool story too. I, I enjoyed that one. Princess Leia. This one surprised me. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, this was just a six issue series, um, six issue story. So interesting to see where they revisit Leia again at some stage. But that, that actually surprised me. I wasn't sure how I'd like um, the Princess Leia story, but I, but I quite enjoyed it. And some cool artwork and yeah, it was a good story. I would definitely recommend looking at looking at that one. Now Lando, this was cool, but it probably wasn't my favourite favourite one. Um, it's sort of the adventures of Lando and Lobot, I guess, in a way. It was a cool story. Um, I don't know, again, this is just another six issue, five, it might have even been five. Um, I can't remember whether it was five or six. Um, so, so Lando's done for now as well, but 
again, nice. It was a, it was a fun story. Cool to see a little bit more Lando. Um, so I kind of feel like there might have only been five issues with this one. And then last but not least, we have Chewbacca. This was actually quite a fun story. Um, sort of just Chewbacca is, um, he just helps out a kid on this planet, basically gets away from the Empire, yada, yada, yada. I won't go into it too much in case you want to read it yourself. But that was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed this story as well. Um, there's been a lot of cool stories and I'm, I'm really enjoying being able to keep up with them all. And, I mean, the, the collection looks great together on the um, bookshelf, you know, you start getting, start getting the extra numbers, you've got one, two, one, two, one, two, as well as all the little standalones, so they just, they're, they're starting to look like a really cool little collection going on. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'll, I'll try and keep this updated every now and then, just with new ones I pick up, and um, there should be a few coming out in the next, next couple of months, hopefully. Um, and a Han Solo series starts next week as well, so that's exciting. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments or feedback. Let me know what you thought. And um, we'll see you again for the next video. See you guys.